A lot's been happening in my life recently. Last year I started a YouTube channel because my friends said, You should start a YouTube channel. I didn't want to because I thought I was too busy, but they just kept saying, You should start a YouTube channel. So, I did. Meet Daniel and Rachel. You probably remember them from 10 seconds ago when they said, You should start a YouTube channel. But you also might know them from their mildly popular YouTube channel, Mango Street. I met them back in 2016 at this awkward Instagram meetup where I basically knew everybody there because I followed them on Instagram, including those two. We exchanged handles and then we just kept up on Instagram for the coming months until I got a DM from Daniel that said, Hey man, got a question for you. We have a wedding in Thailand booked the weekend of March 25th. However, Rachel has severe food allergies and doesn't feel comfortable traveling over there. So I'm looking for a second shooter and a travel buddy. I said yes. So I went to LA for the first time. And then I went to Asia for the first time. And then I started making vlogs for the first time. So I started sharing videos. Something I've been doing since I was 12, but then I started to recognize some sort of semblance of this being a part of my career. My friendship with Daniel and Rachel kept growing as we started collaborating on more projects. Shooting street photography, recreating La La Land, using them for clickbait, shooting our five year anniversary, how to whip pan, and most recently, acting in their short film. Which brings me to this story. You see, Moment, a company that makes lenses for phones, for the last handful of years, they've hosted this film festival. Daniel and Rachel won last year, but this year they asked me to act in their entry. We went to the Channel Islands, a Scotland, Iceland looking ditty just off the coast of LA. We took a boat, we shot all day. Wes Anderson would have been proud. Of course they knocked it out of the park, became finalists in the festival, and were invited to 368 in New York City. Ever heard of it? I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about Casey Neistat here. You see, when I met Daniel and Rachel, I was obsessively watching Casey Neistat pretty much every day. Casey is a genius and a maniac. The dude single-handedly changed how creators interact with YouTube with the talk to the camera vlogging, city street snowboarding, boosted board commuting, drone piloting, time-lapse recording, insistently uploading every day for nearly two years kind of style. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know it's, I know it's clickbait, but I took that photo of him, so. By now I'm sure you know that 368 and that location is where Casey became a YouTube legend. And although I was silently freaking out in my head, I was playing it cool around my friends, I was thrilled to see it in real life. So, we went to New York. I've traveled a lot in the past two years, but not many trips felt like this one. It helps that New York City is one of my favorite places on earth. Beyond how rad it was to go to 368, the whole weekend was insanely inspiring. And I don't mean the Instagram brotographer kind of inspiring link in my bio kind of bull crap. I mean, truly, authentically inspiring. Just like that one time three years ago where I went to an event and I recognized so many faces in the room I left seeing a brand new kind of creativity, and I wanted every part of it. The past few weeks and months have been riddled with ideas and concerns about continuing on this platform. But being in the place that first motivated me to action, with the people who motivated me to action, is now motivating me to action. I'm inspired more than ever, right now, to share everything that I love. Because these are the things I love, and I want to share them with you. And not just to put myself in a box, I want to share every component of the things that I love with you guys, and I'm so excited to do it. Oh yeah, Daniel and Rachel won the film festival, by the way. I'm so proud of them, and I'm so blessed to have people like that in my life, who are stoking the creative fire in my everyday. But more than anything, 
I'm just really happy about the one time they said, you should start a YouTube channel.